I found it. A build that greens heavies often when in the right hands. I'm talking it can shoot with ease like Steph Curry. A build that can abuse the mid-range game like Kevin Durant. A build that can get crazy acrobatic through the lane and go up with unblockable scoops and layups like Kyrie. While also being super quick with the ball, making it hard to keep up with like he's D-Fox. I mean, a build that's truly a magician on offense. While also being able to play elite defense like Kawhi Leonard, the build I like to call the two-way magician. So subscribe to the channel and drop a like because I'm about to put y'all on today. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger. And I got y'all with the two-way magician build today. Now, I got three different versions of this build I'm going to show. But first, we got to show you some gameplay of this build, okay? And now, if you watched my wager video, this is the same uh, build that I was using in that Yoki Cone wager, which was my last video. So yes, this is the build, but look at this game right here. We're playing a 6-8 post score right here. You can clearly see by his stats. I mean, 96 interior, 95 strength. He's got some crazy post scoring stats. And he's, I mean, literally, literally look at his name, bro. Like he's going to abuse the back downs. He's going to abuse, you know, the, the, the jab step standing dunk glitch. If y'all know about that. But yeah, we're on the 1v1 core of this build. And yeah, this build can standing dunk. You're going to be surprised of how consistent the standing dunk is, despite how low my rating is. But it's just as low as all my other readies. But look at I missed a wide open three. But if y'all saw in the beginning, I have an 85 three point percentage. So that doesn't happen often. But this build's defense is insane. You see, I get a pluck immediately, a steal immediately, a stop immediately. However you want to say, it, okay? Because this defense is by far like elite on this build, and the shooting is crazy. The shooting badges you're gonna have on this build make my three point rating look like it's a 99. And it's not a 99. It's just I get Hall of Fame shooting badges because of how high the mid range is on this build. And that's why my three point percentage is so high because I'm not used to having Hall of Fame shooting badges. I'm used to having the silver and gold. So the Hall of Fame is pretty glitchy, but you see I'm messing up this post score right now. I mean, if he literally gets one stop like he just did right there, which is just plucking me. Uh, and that's why we have three different versions of this build. And I get the ball right back because what did I say? The defense on this build is elite, okay? But yeah, there's going to be three different versions of this build I show later in the video that y'all can choose between. I'll tell you which one's mine, which one I'd test it out, and which one I would probably make uh, just after, you know, testing out the different versions of the build I did make. But yeah, this dude's clearly struggling. An elite post score, getting 21 owed on the 1v1 court by this build. I mean, the defense can stop a 6'8 post score. But before we get into the next gameplay, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Shout out to today's sponsor, Factor. Factor is a food company that makes meeting your nutrition goals easier by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. These meals that Factor's chefs create use only ingredients with the integrity to help you feel best all day long. It's super easy. All you have to do is choose your favorite meals with your choice of add-on options or letting Factor craft your order based on your taste preferences. So personally, I went with the Protein Plus package and when the package arrived, it had a couple ice packs in there with six of my meals, four of my juices. So I decided to take it out, put some in the refrigerator and get straight to work on the Chipotle rubbed pork chop and the apple beet ginger juice. All I had to do is poke a couple holes in the plastic, put it in the microwave for a couple minutes, get it out, put it on a plate and boom, dinner was ready just like that. So make sure to head over to factor75.com or click the link below and use code double H 50 to get 50% off your first factor box and 20% off your next month of orders and once again shout out to factor for sponsoring today's video now let's go into another gameplay right here another comp gameplay because we showing comp gameplay we gotta show this build's adversity this build when it's matched up against good players we're playing one of the best 2v2 players leblix and we're down 19 to 0 right we need to make a comeback we're down 19 to 0 can this build do it let's see what happens i hit my center on the pop get a little uh assist from that i'm at zero percent takeover right now i'm at negative takeover we get a little scoop layup and you're gonna see the scoop layups on this build are so good like it, it, if you have heat check and look at i make another one right there and that one was contested I, if you have heat check too if you're starting one in a in rise i mean you're gonna be stacking up heat like you're gonna get heat check like two or three times a game depending on how often you're scoring in games at 21 but look at me oh my god the l2 cancel into a green and look at that yeah we had nine points i already got heat check because you get heat checks off layups and this build doesn't have a driving dunk so you're gonna be taking a layup almost every time let's take a standing dunk and look at another lay the scoopers are so good if you get on anyone's hip and the defender's ever on your hip it's an automatic layup 
every single time. It's actually ridiculous. It's a lot of bailout buckets too, but look at this build is super fast. Look at all oh, this scooper over two people. I'm telling y'all, the layups you can get on this build are genuinely insane once you master the layup controls in this game. Now, you also got the mid-range, the three-pointer, the offense on the, this is why it's called the two-way magician because it's, it's a magician on offense. I'm trying to tell you. We get to the mid-range bag. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to spoil it right now. This build is a 95 mid-range, okay? 95. So we get Hall of Fame Green Machine. You see the bat is popping up the top, right? 95 oh, the mid-range is insane. Look at another scooper layup. Look at how many times I'm using the layups in a comp game. Well, we're down 19 to zero. Like, I'm going to the layup a lot. Now I'm at heat check for the second time this game. Step back three. You already know what color that is. And now we have the lead. We were just down 19 to zero. Seven seconds on the shot clock. We don't want to give this team the ball back because they are very good on offense too, just like any two team. Look at I shoot right over him with one adrenaline and we make a 19-0 comeback on one of the best twos teams in the game. I mean, that's insane, right? Now, this is some gameplay for my wager video. If you didn't watch the wager video, it's literally the last video. Go check it out. That was a banger. But I mean, these are wagers. Money is on the line, y'all. Pressure is on me to score the ball with this build. And you could see I'm getting some crazy shots up. I'm getting to my mid range. I'm getting to my three pointer. I was scooping a lot in these games as well. I'm destroying my defender and getting open very easily with my fast movement on this build my mid-range shots, my three-point shots. And we were making a lot of contested shots too to the point where there was people in the other dude's chat thought, thinking I was cheating. Look at a 70% mid-range on the first shot of the game. No, that is no Zen. That is just the capability of this build. You can make contested shots. Hall of Fame Green Machine, the, the other Hall of Fame catch and shoot, the gold bat as you get. I mean, you could really make some crazy shots on this build. Hey, the jump shots on the channel too. Go look up double A jump shot. I uploaded the jump shot video recently, but look at that. Another heavily contested in a wager. This is in a wager, y'all. Like this isn't just some random park game. Like there's money on the line, you know what I'm saying? Like we're playing good teams too. We're playing good players. These are not bad defenders or anything. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean, this build destroys. It also can get a lot of good ankle breakers as well. Very fast, can create space create open areas to get an open shot and even if it doesn't like i said it can make contested shots if you have a good jumper and you are a good shooter in this game then this build is gonna be perfect for you because wow the offense on this build is truly insane i mean we get 34 percent over defensive take a fadeaway midi in defensive takes eyeballs 20 33 i mean that's just insane look at this play right here look at this oh smooth ankle breaker dropping him on the floor y'all it's getting crazy out here but i think it's that time to show y'all three different versions of this build look at that layup too a uh, uh, 61 oh, what the heck is going on but yeah i think it's time to show y'all three different versions of how you can make this build how to upgrade this build to 85 overall if you just made it and of course the animations and the badges let's get into it all right y'all make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel for me putting y'all on this is going to be version number one of three of the builds i'm going to show in this video now this is the version that i made so this is the one that i use in that wager this is the one that you saw the gameplay with we're going to go six six point guard now once again you can go with whatever position you want point guard shooting guard small forward okay whatever position you want to run on the fives the threes the twos wherever you want to get matched up with that's what you can go with i went with point guard because i want to be at the one for all of the modes that i play now we're going to go with six six now one thing that is underrated about heights this year is that the shorter you are the faster you move so if you're six seven or six eight with an 81 speed guess what if you're six six with an 81 speed you're going to move way faster defensively and on offense doesn't even matter if the stats are the same you're just going to move faster i have six seven builds i have six eight builds and yes this six six build moves super fast so yeah this is going to be a six six if you want to go taller you could go taller you could probably make a similar version of this build at a different height but all the three versions i'm showing in this video are going to be six six now with the weight 219 pounds the reason i went 219 is because that's actually the lowest weight you can go and still unlock the early body type which is the biggest body type in the game so if that's something you're interested in you can go 219 pounds you're not going to lose really any attributes with this because we're only going to go 81 speed anyways and you unlock a bigger body type so why not do that otherwise 
if you don't want that body type i guess you can go minimum weight but for me i said you know what i may as well go 219 and get that body type just in case i want it and then with the wingspan we went with 610 the reason we went 610 is because we want that 95 mid range to unlock that hall of fame green machine probably the best badge in the game i'm not gonna lie like I, this is the first build i've ever had a hall of fame green machine and wow i mean when you get green machine rolling it feels like you literally can't miss anything like literally that's what it feels like i've never shot higher three point percentages on any build other than this i mean i literally shoot you saw in the beginning the intro there at one point when i was a 91 overall i was shooting 85 percent from three i mean that's insane if you saw that on someone's 2k card you'd think they were cheating that's how crazy of a high percentage that is but now since it's like fizzled down a little bit it's at like 76 77 which is still as y'all probably know absolutely insane now yes i'm a good shooter i'm way above average of the game but still it's not just because of that it's because this build and the badness that goes along with it is absolutely insane but anyways let's get into the stats right now we're gonna start with the finishing stats on this first build now there are other versions of this build like i said that are gonna have a higher layup but yes the lamps you were seeing in that gameplay had a 70 driving layup i know that's hard to believe but it's really just animation based and just time in the layups. You're not gonna get a bigger green window with your layups, the higher your lay layup rating really is, especially with the scoopers. Most of the scoopers are gonna be open anyways. They're very hard to contest. You basically have to block a scooper or like mistime it completely for a scoop layup not to go in. So yeah, that's really the most of the layups that I do go up with. Yes, I'll go up with reverse layups. And yeah, as long as you know how to time them, they are super OP in this game. Now we're gonna go with a 36 driving dunk. Why do we wanna go with the 36 driving dunk? Because that's the lowest dunk rating you can go with. That still gives you a dunk uh, package. And yes, you need some kind of dunk package to get standing dunks when you're under the rim. And yes, we're going with a 40 standing dunk why not go higher well i could go higher and try to get fast twitch or rise up that that would be too high to the point where i would lose too many attributes in the other categories that i want but guess what all you need is a 40 standing dunk and you saw in the first 1v1 gameplay i was getting standing dunks when i wanted them if i want to jump on the paint getting standing dunk i'm going to get one every time with a 40 standing dunk as long as you know what you're doing okay now that's gonna be it for the finishing stats i know that's kind of crazy though there's not a lot of good you know stat it looks pretty bad but trust i mean y'all saw in the gameplay i'm literally playing in wagers down 19 0 and stuff coming back in half of my points are scoop layups okay so anyways we're gonna go on to the shooting stats probably the best of thing about this build actually maybe the second best thing about this build because the defense is pretty crazy but yeah we're gonna go with an 86 three-point rating why did we go with an 86 three-point rating because there's no point going past 86 you don't get any extra badges uh but the thing that we will be doing is getting that 95 mid-range i mean this is insane hall of fame catch and shoot gold blinders gold dead eye gold uh actually wait hall of fame green machine i was about to say where's hall of fame green machine uh gold space critter hall of fame comeback kid hall of fame guard up hall of fame midi magician which is insane i mean you can i don't really abuse mid-range as much as i should on this build but you can really abuse mid-ranges and just left right around the mid-range and probably score every time hall of fame open looks gold whistle the shooting bad is on this build are genuinely insane now if you do want to lower another stat and get a free throw you can do that but i didn't make this build for fives for pro and rec so i didn't mind i didn't bother even upgrading it but if you do make sure to upgrade your free throw it's very cheap you can probably put another stat just down a little bit and you'll get a maxed out free throw right anyways moving on to the playmaking stats we're gonna go with the 86 ball handle now there is another version of this build i'm going to show in this video that has a higher ball handle uh we're gonna go with a 75 speed ball because there's really no point going past that uh yeah i'm just doing that for the speed booster badge and to you know I'm, i don't even i don't even do it for the dribble style anymore because he's pro but yeah really just doing that for the speed booster badge and then we're going with 68 pass accuracy now this build i do use for ones and twos uh 68 pass accuracy is good enough on the twos court in my opinion i do have other builds with 89 pass accuracy 77 pass ac accuracy and all that good stuff but 68 gets it done for me if you want to go higher you can always do that but for me 68 is good you get bronze dimer uh and the speeds on a 68 pass accuracy it seems to be like the money spot like you don't want to go any lower really and you don't really need to go that much higher on the twos court uh anyways moving on to the defensive stats 
This is not something I really showed a lot in the gameplay, but the defense on this build is actually insane. I mean, y'all are going to be surprised when you see this. 94 perimeter defense. Yeah, 94. Uh, 91 steal. We are 6'6", six, six, so we don't get anchor, but we're still going to get a 72 block, and we're going to get a 60 vertical, which is going to give us bronze chase down artist. We're also going to put our strength up to a 55, and yeah, we get gold clamps, Hall of Fame challenger, Hall of Fame off-ball pest, Hall of Fame ankle braces. This build, like I said in the intro, it can play Kawhi Leonard level defense. I mean, you can really clamp people out here with this build, okay? Now, that's gonna be all for the defensive stats. I mean, eh, that's elite. And that's why I didn't say maybe this, that's why I said earlier, oh, maybe the shooting stats aren't the best thing about this build because the defensive stats are actually insane. That's why it's the two-way magician. It is a magician on offense, but it can play very good defense, okay? Now, with these physicals, we're gonna go with 81 speed. 81 speed, we're just going for that speed booster badge. This speed rating really doesn't matter too much. Uh, it, it makes you faster on defense. That's the really only other thing it does. But as long as you meet that speed booster threshold, there's no point in going past that offensively. So, and I already got a good perimeter defense, so I don't really need a high speed. Plus, it's super expensive. Uh, and right here, we're just going to go 99 stamina. And yeah, we're going to get silver fast fee. I would like to have gotten gold, but I feel like the fearless finisher badge is a little more important. I'd like to have that on bronze. But if you want to go down the 66 layup, get a 77 acceleration, you could do that. Uh, we get silver spot finder, silver slippery, silver triple strike, silver speed booster, silver blow by. Hall of Fame workhorse, by the way, which is actually a pretty underrated badge. Hall of Fame 94 feet. This build is absolutely insane. These are what the 99 stats are like. The only thing we can upgrade that is left is post control. And that is officially the 99 overall build. These are all the badges you get with it. And yeah, this is the exact build I used in that wager. The exact build that I have. We're going to go on to show you two other versions of this build. But this build in particular, actually, yep, there we go. We're going to show you what uh, the shades are, what the build name is. And by the way, all three versions of the builds that I'm showing this video, um, it's all really like this similar type of play style you're going for. The mid, the high mid range to get good badges to, you know, shoot threes, middies and play good defense and, you know, be able to create your shot with the right ball handling rating. But they all get different build names. This one's a two way perimeter threat. And I think that really describes this build perfectly. All right. So version number two of this build, I actually made this version before I made the last version and tested it out now personally i like the first version better but for people that are really looking for that layup rating to be a lot higher this is probably the version you're gonna like a lot better so we're going with the same oh wait hold on a second we messed that up there for a second but we're going with the same height wingspan uh and weight for the same reasons that we did in the first one but yeah so we're gonna move on to that yeah the difference really is with this version of the build is you're gonna get a bit lot higher layup you're gonna get a 91 driving layup uh you're gonna get the same driving dunk same standing dunk obviously you're gonna get the same shooting stats that's really the the really the biggest reason to make this build is the hall of fame green machine because it's just insane and all the other golden hall of fame shooting badges you get along with it uh we're gonna be going with basically the same playmaking stats i, I did have to take a minus three hit on the pass accuracy which is a little unfortunate uh, but it, you got to do what you got to do for that 91 layup if you want it. Uh, perimeter defense is going to take a big hit, 85 perimeter defense. But you're still going to get the most most important uh, defensive stat in the game, which is that 91 block. You're still going to get chased down artist, of course. You're still going to get that 81 speed for silver speed booster. You're still going to get clamps on silver, at least not on gold, but silver is pretty solid. Get that chase down artist and, of course, that max stamina. And what else are we missing here? Uh, I think we're missing something. We're only at 97 overall. Uh, oh, yeah, we're missing the acceleration. We went with 73 acceleration, which is going to give us that silver blow by, silver speed booster, silver fast feet, just like on the last build. And we actually also go with a 60 strength on this build to get silver fearless finisher and bronze physical handles. Yeah, this build is pretty similar, right? You just get the minus three pass accuracy. Get the minus nine perimeter defense. A lot of people don't think 94 perimeter defense is needed. So, hey, this is a version you can go with if you don't think it's needed. You go the 85 perimeter defense, same speed, same excel. You get a plus like what, 15, 10 strength, something like that. Actually, no, you get a plus five strength. My bad. Uh, yeah, 
really everything else is the same. So you got a plus 21 layup in exchange for a minus three pass stack and a minus nine perimeter and a minus four block. Not too bad if you want to get the crazy layups. For the reason I didn't like this version as much as the first version is because my play style really didn't fit the high layup rating. Like I, the thing I wanted to do with layups is really scoopers and reverses. And I was getting away with that with a 70 layup. Uh, now, if you want to do some other crazy acrobatic layups or you want to like bail out of layups and do that, you know, the little acrobatic Kyrie layups, then this might be the version to go with. Because, yeah, I mean, silver, fearless finisher. You could go for gold, too, if you want to get sacrifice something else and get 65 strength. Hall of Fame, Giant Slayer is crazy. Gold Slithery is crazy. Hall of Fame, Acrobat. That badge is probably insane for reverse layups. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Hall of Fame Float Game, Hall of Fame Scooper, Hall of Fame Pro Touch. I mean, the layups could really be super overpowered on this build right here. Uh, so yeah, th this version is really good depending on your place. Now, I would say if you really are good at layups in 2K, then this is probably better than the first version. Otherwise, if you just want to spam the scoopers, then just go with the version number one if that's all you're going to do with the layups. But yeah, this build also has a different build name. And honestly, this build name is kind of fire too. It's called the three level threat uh that is gonna be version number two let me know by the way which version you like the most but anyways let's move on to version number three all right so version number three we're going with the same uh position height weight and wingspan for the same reasons once again now this one is going to be one where if you want the higher ball handle and you're worried about getting ripped with silver and pluckable because i will admit i have played in wagers with this build and one or in, in competitive games with the first version of that's the build i'm talking about and the one complaint I will have about it is Silver Unpluckable is going to get ripped a lot. Now, do I think having Gold Unpluckable is going to make you never get ripped? No, obviously. But obviously, it's a lot better to have Gold Unpluckable than Silver Unpluckable. And I know a lot of people, you know, would prefer Gold Unpluckable. So if that is you and you would prefer that, then this is what you would go with. Okay, so first of all, you're going to go with the 70 layup, just like the first build. You're going to go with 36 driving dunk and 40 standing dunk. So once again, if you just are going to spam scoopers and you're not really a, a layup guy outside of that, you just want to spam the scoopers, then this is going to be way more than good enough. Obviously, we're going with the same shooting stats as well, because once again, that's like the biggest reason to make this type of build is that midi abuser and those high, you know, shooting batters that you're going to get along with having the 86.3 with bronze limitless range so you can really shoot like curry with all these other badges to be honest uh but yeah the ball handle is the biggest difference 92 ball handle that's gonna give you gold unpluckable you're gonna be able to unlock some other jewel moves as well 83 speed with ball as well it's a big jump 68 pass accuracy so the same pass accuracy as version number one now you do have to take a hit on something and one of that is gonna be perimeter defense which i think a lot of people won't have a problem with uh, but if you do want to have that elite defense, version number one is pretty crazy with that 94 perimeter. We're still going to have that 91 steal. We're still going to have chase down artists on this build as well. So obviously the defense is still elite. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is the same as version two, really. But yeah, I mean, you can still get it done on the defensive end with these defensive stats. We're going to go 60 vertical to get that bronze chase down artist, 99 stamina. We're going to go 50 strength to get that silver clamps. 81 speed to get that actually no 86 speed to get the gold speed booster and then 73 excel once again so the biggest changes in this version right here uh you get the plus two layup uh you get the uh actually yeah you can go up on the tier to get 99 but yeah the biggest changes on this build compared to the first version the plus two layup right the same shooting stats you get obviously plus six ball handle plus eight speed with ball uh, minus nine perimeter defense minus four block plus what plus five speed yeah and then minus five strength and everything else is the same so yeah this is version number three if you want to go with the gold unpluckable and yeah this is looking solid as well i mean you still have an elite defense you're gonna get that gold unpluckable unlock a couple other dribble moves you know and then you still have the same shooting stats and finishing stats and you're gonna be faster on defense too 86 speed you're gonna be a lot faster on defense but anyways that's gonna be version number three and this also has a different build name as you're gonna see right here and this one's kind of good too i ain't gonna lie this is the perimeter shot creator which honestly fits perfectly i mean you're gonna be shooting mid ranges and you're gonna be, have good defense so let me know which version you like version number one two or three once again version number one is the one that i used in my wagers but anyways let's go ahead and show you how you should upgrade it show you the badges i got and the animations i'm using 
Now, honestly, this is how I would upgrade to 85 overall. I know there's nothing on finishing. Honestly, this is how I would upgrade to 85 overall. Most of you can probably upgrade to 90 overall. And if you can upgrade to 90 overall, the next thing I would do is try to get the 36 dunk and the 40 standing dunk and then go up as much as you can on the layup. But yeah, I mean, you got to have the shooting bad is off rip, I feel like. You need pass act. You want your dribble move animations as fast as possible. You get silver glove and silver challenger off rip. You're not going to be able to get... There's no point of upgrading the block if you're not going to get the chase down artist with the vertical. So you kind of have to do both of those. Uh, it's a hard decision, but this is what I would end up going with if you want to upgrade to the 85 overall off rip. All right, now that we're back in the city on my build, that is the 99 overall maxed out. The first version of the build yes these are the final stats now i am a veteran three so i get plus three to the ball handle and plus three to the finishing so my stats are actually looking pretty crazy i get you know the 73 layup i get the 89 ball handle, 71 pass i get you can actually tell at the 71 pass act in game that there is a difference yeah my build at 99 is looking absolutely insane we have the two-way perimeter threat uh build name uh and yeah let's go ahead and take a look at my badges as well my badges are basically maxed out you know all the things that i really need are maxed out you know we have the hall of fame guard up the hall of fame mini magician the hall of fame open looks the hall of fame catch and shoot hall of fame i mean this building is so many hall of fame badges bro now that i'm looking at it hall of fame challenger hall of fame green machine hall of fame workhorse hall of fame ankle braces hall of fame 94 feet absolutely insane we have the limitless range we have the fearless finisher the clamps the glove the interceptor the dead eye this build it, it really is crazy okay now i'm also going to show you the animations that i use on this build if you want the jump shot go ahead click the link in the description or watch the video that's on your screen right now i uploaded the jump shot video with the exact jump shot i use on this build in that video i'll tell you in that video where which one is my jump shot i literally say it in the video but yeah we use kobe Bryant dribble pull up for the midi fades uh these are all the animations i use layup style default small for those scoopers these are the drill moves i use on this build as well so if you were really good for that there it is hopefully this video helped you guys out and if it did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're not go please check if you're subscribed subscribe my boy i would really appreciate that if y'all boys and girls that are watching right now subscribe to the channel anyways it's been your boy henry aka double h we're on the road to 1 million and i'm out y'all peace